Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to stitch Zardosi. Please subscribe our channel for learning Ari embroidery. And for seeing the basic and advanced videos, please check the playlist. You can see basic videos and advanced videos in separate playlist. Thank you for subscribing this channel. So first, I am taking the Zardosis and keeping the tip in the same position and stretching a little and then cutting in a very small so you can see this I am getting a very small size so that we can use this so this is for the beginners so only this video is only for the beginners if you know how to stitch Zardosi please skip off this video so I am now stitching Cutting very small size zardosi so beginners can use and hold practice this. So the measurement is 0 0.3 inches. You can either cut with a normal eye measurement or with this measurement, it, it is your wish. So today I am going to show two basics of stitching the zardosi So same method. So first I am using a 0 0.3 m 3 centimeter or a small size zardosi so after cutting this I am going to cut 0 0.5 cm size I other or a middle medium size zardosi so we can use this zardosi so we can we have to make a stitch in the middle of this size we can take either 1 m, 1 cm or 1.5 cm, 1 inches, it's upper wish. So, for the beginners, you can use this. So, now I am taking the zardosis. First, you can hold the zardosi in a straight way. Sorry, they hold the needle in a straight way. And then you can take the zardosis. So, this is how we can take the zardosis. Either you can hold the needle in a straight position otherwise you can hold the needle in a slanting or a you can see this how I am holding you can see this two varieties you can hold the needle so you can take the zardosis if you are wish you can practice either one for your as your comfort so you can take the zardosis by these two methods you can, take a, you can take it either anyway. So we can start stitching. After taking the zardosis in the needle, we can start stitching. So today I am going to show two ways of stitching. So first beginners start practicing taking the zardosis in the needle. So first method, it is very simple as we are taking the beads. We are again going to take the small zardosis. This is only for the beginners. If you are know how to stitch the zardosis, please keep it off. You, the, for the beginners, for practicing and holding the zardosis, take the small size zardosis first and then start stitching. So you can see how I am holding the needle. First I am taking zardosis and then dropping one by one very small zardosis so beginners can start with this method so once you know how to hold the zardosis on uh, you can if you are thorough with this you can go to the second method i'll show the second method also so <coughs> so it's it little uh, the zardosi work will be little to uh, little difficult for the beginners so first practice this method so once you practice well with Holding a single small small zardosis and taking stitches, we can start with the second method. So after completing the first line, you can you practice this method for a week or as as per wish. So then I'm going to show the second method. So for the second method, I'm going to take the medium size zardosis. You can see how I'm going to show. So I'll make a stitch in the middle of the zardosi. The needle 
hook should face the forward position so that only we can make the other stitches so i am dropping the single zardosi and making a stitch in the middle of the zardosis so zardo we can make stitches in the zardosis because it's a very the spring it can hold we can make the stitches how many times as per the size of the zardosis so we can take either 1 inches or 1 centimeter or 1.5 centimeter it's our wish so this is the, usually we will follow this uh, this method when we are giving outline for the any designs so that only we can do the work very fastly so if the benefit of the zardosi with a RA needle is we can hold so many um, zardosis so that we can do the work very easily and we in a far in a quick way so practice these stitches so it's very important because it's in advanced level we mostly use zardosis and beads so practice this basic so, so in the third method i'm going to show with a normal needle so so you can first you can either you are wish you can use anything you practice with both the sides also so for that i'm using a zero size needle normal needle so we can we have to punch the needle from the downside and have to take the thread uh, upside and we have to stitch single single zardosis because when we are using a normal needle we, ca we can take one list one zardosis at a time so if you don't know to handle with the zari ari needle no problem you can use this normal needle the zero size pony tail needle for stitching zardosis so this that's all about the zardosis stitching for beginners please practice all the stitches you can choose either one i prefer you can start with a zardosi re needle so please practice this so that we can continue the other stitches and other stitches will be easy for you so practice with a re needle at last we have to make the knot to complete the stitches so that the stitches won't get away or the zaris will be on the position